What you see before you is an outline of Operation Meal Mirage, our response to Operation Jormungand. <laughs> I knew it. It doesn't stray too far from what we'd expected, but even so... Seeing it all laid out like this makes it overwhelmingly real. I get that a plan this crazy is probably our only hope, but still, we're really gonna do this, huh? <laughs> the Empire has drastically increased its military might, due largely in part to the draft. Current estimates number their forces at 1.2 million strong. And that figure will only rise before the fighting actually starts. On the other hand, Calvert's military can barely scrape together 800,000, at most. Even if they try to boost their ranks with a draft of their own, that probably won't go over too well, judging by their last election. Not to mention the huge difference in weapons and resources between the two countries. In terms of both aerial combat fleets and core tank units, Erebonia has a clear advantage. And that's without taking Panzer Soldats into account. Yeah. There's no way the Vern Company's production line could even hope to keep up. What's more, the Empire now has an excuse to throw all the new technology it's been developing into this war. With that in mind, it's entirely possible that the Civil War was nothing more than an opening move. I agree. It seems likely. The same could be said of the Orbal Shutdown phenomenon or even the Hundred Days' War. It is our belief that these events were simply set up, all to pave the way for Operation Jormungand. <sighs> Damn it! Those monsters! And Mio Mirage is your plan for how to hold back Operation Jormungand. We have with us the Republican Army of Calvert, the Royal Army of Liberal, the Remifarian and Viceland armies, as well as troops from Lamon and Orid, and even resistance cells acting out of Crossbell and North Ambria. You intend to coordinate every one of these individual forces united under a single banner to suppress the Imperial Army from all sides. That's exactly right. As you stated before, Calvert's armed forces total 800,000 strong. The Viceland Army should bring that number up by about 100,000. The Principality of Remifaria is prepared to lend its aid as well, to the effect of approximately 80,000 troops. Add to that figure an additional 120,000 from the Kingdom of Liberal. Further, we can count on receiving around 20,000 soldiers from Laman and Orit combined, as well as another 10,000 from Crossbell and North Ambria. And this is to remain off the record, but... We're expecting roughly 30,000 in reinforcements from Arteria as well. Naturally, we plan on bringing Jaegers into the fight, too. We've been scouting out Jaeger corps big and small. All in all, I'd say we're looking at a good 40,000 extra soldiers. Altogether a combined total of 1.2 million. Finally putting us on even ground with Operation Jormungand. A war like this would stretch over almost half the continent. Resistance cells from Crossbell, huh? That must be Sonya and the others. Yeah, Muriel told me a bit about it, but... North Ambria, too? That have something to do with the movements we heard about there? Yeah. The resistance there is made up of former members of the Northern Jaegers, who got absorbed into the Imperial Army. And we got troops from Laman and Orid, too. That would be their defense forces, no? That's right. We've actually known about their involvement for a little bit. I have to say... I'm surprised the High Seat of the Septian Church would choose to involve themselves so directly. But Rosine mentioned something about this earlier, didn't she? Yes. The Congregation for Divine Worship is likely deploying the Papal Guard as we speak. The Imperial Army's technological superiority is undeniable. 
and we can't underestimate the threat Ouroboros poses either. Further, directing and coordinating all parties involved will prove a tremendously difficult task. That is the purpose of our meeting, to determine who will serve as the key piece in our plan, the cornerstone upon which we can build our success. I present to you Cassius Bright, Lieutenant General of the Royal Army of Liberal, and, as of today, Supreme Commander of Operation Meal Mirage. <laughs> what? Now that's what I call a power move. A natural decision. Lieutenant General Bright did head the search and destroy operations against the cult and Crossbell. What's more, he can already boast having pushed back an Imperial invasion once before. He's the most brilliant tactician of our time, without a doubt. I should have known. So you've accepted the position then, Dad? Even after hearing everything that's going to happen as a result of this plan? I have. This can truly be called the Great War, the likes of which mankind has never seen before. A war that will surely destroy the lives of all it touches, soldiers and civilians alike. Hundreds of thousands of lives. Worst comes to worst, we could see casualties in the millions. <laughs> millions? Yeah, that's definitely possible. But at least it will keep the Empire from completely destroying everything. Yeah, she has a point. I think I speak for us all when I say this dreadful decision weighs heavily on our hearts. But there are stakes here far more dire than the invasion of Calvert itself. Namely, Erebonia's two Septarians, as well as its curse, which spreads further and further with every land it conquers. Ugh. It's all connected. If we don't act soon, the Republic will fall to the Empire's advance, drowning the entire nation in its curse. It would then only be a matter of time before the surrounding countries fell as well, until finally all of Zemuria is in the curse's grasp. All for the sake of reviving the ultimate being, the Great One. This we must avoid above all else. If this dreadful decision is the only chance we have of saving our world, then so be it. This whole catastrophe began in Erebonia. Though I can't personally agree to this plan, as a member of the Imperial family, I must allow it. Your Highness... <laughs> this is the consensus we have reached. I trust you understand now the reason we've gathered here. There are a few things we must ask you now. Namely, if you accept the necessity of our plan. And furthermore, if we can count on your cooperation. I'm sure you'd like some time to talk things over amongst yourselves, and with your other allies as well. But as you can probably tell, that's time we just don't have. Members of the Bracer Guild, Special Support Section, Class 7, and Thor's Military Academy as a whole, we need your answers, here and now. How do you respond? When it comes down to it, we, the Special Support Section, are just a single division of the CPD. We're in no position to defy the will of a nation, let alone four. We understand the severity of the situation. But be that as it may, we can't in good faith lend our aid to this cause. There has to be a better way to fix this mess we're in, and we won't back down until we figure out how. Not just to stop this war, but so that someday... Crossbell can take back its independence for good. <laughs> I see. You can count the Bracer Guild out of this deal, too. We're the supporting gauntlet of the common people. 
Their security and protection will always come first. But at the same time, we understand that you have to do this. So instead, we'll make sure to get in touch with our headquarters in Le Mans to organize an evacuation plan for all the citizens. And in the meantime, we'll look for our own way to resolve this. Just like the SSS. That's the Bracer Guild's decision. Estelle. Ah. <laughs> with so many of us still missing, we can't claim to speak for Thoris as a whole. But we can, at the very least, tell you our decision as Class 7. Become the foundation of the world. In a sense, those words have shaped our class from the very beginning. A war this big is certainly one way to keep the curse in check. We could be a new foundation afterwards. One built over ruins and destruction. But this curse is not absolute. Though it sweeps across the nation, toying with our fate, there are still those who stand together to resist it. We've seen as much with our very own eyes. We need a plan to try and ensure the safety of the world as we know it. Meal Mirage can be that plan. But, like the Guild and the SSS, we choose to find a third path forward for ourselves. That means dealing with any incidents brought about by the curse as well as the rivalries. Whether or not that's even possible, I don't know. Time is running out on us even as we speak. Yet still, we'll continue to tread forward, step by step. Because we owe it to Prince Oliver to find that third path he always strove to take. Reen. Yeah, you're exactly right. The path Prince Oliver would have wanted. I see. <laughs> My goodness. The naivete of youth never fails to astound me. And yet, as history shows us, it is precisely the young and foolish who bring change to the world. The same could be said of those not bound by duty or tradition. Come to think of it, Prince Oliver himself embodied every one of those qualities. <laughs> he most certainly did, and his spirit lives on in this next generation. We have heard your convictions, clear and true. Operation Meal Mirage is already underway. But so long as you respect our position, we will respect yours in turn. You're under no obligation to participate in our plan. That said, we'd appreciate your help wherever possible. That includes exchanging information, keeping civilians safe, and so on. We certainly have more room to cooperate than Operation Jormungand does at the very least. You Bracers played a pivotal role in solving the incidents in Liberal, as did the Special Support Section in Crossbell. I eagerly await seeing what such seasoned heroes can bring to the table. Thank you. We won't disappoint. I don't know if I'd call us heroes exactly, but we'll help out in any way we can. <laughs> Well, that suspense was killing me. As grim as our circumstances are, we now know what our mission must be. Right! We gotta do everything we can to stop this war before it begins. And even if it does, we'll just have to find a way to end it. Right. Our first course of action is figuring out exactly what we can accomplish right now as members of Thor's. I imagine the rivalries will play a key role in that. Agreed. <laughs> You're all pretty gung-ho about this, huh? Ugh, how are you guys so relentlessly positive about everything? It really is the most annoying thing about them, isn't it? Wait a sec. I know that voice! It's him! Enforcer number zero of Ouroboros. Campanella! Show yourself! <laughs> Sounds like things are coming along nicely over here. Quite the illustrious guest list you have here. I'm almost starstruck. Indeed. It would seem the rumors weren't unfounded. Belle! The new third anguish of Ouroboros. Lady Mildine, my greetings to you and all the leaders of the world gathered here today. 
I see a number of familiar faces and some new ones too. My, how delightful. You must be Dieter Kroisis' daughter. I've heard the rumors of what you've become. A member of an international terrorist organization. Gracious me, the audacity of this woman. Whoa, he really called it, huh, Lady Bell? Ha, huh, you're one to talk. Hey, uh, this is some party you guys got going on. Real swanky joint, too. Shame for you, Zephyr's here to crash. Surely, you. Boss, that means Zeno and Leo are here, too, doesn't it? Sure does. But hey, we're not done with the lineup just yet. Don't think things will go the same for you here as they did at the workshop. Please, excuse our intrusion. Sharon. George! So you've come. Lecter. It's really you. In the flesh. Long time no see, ladies. My lady. Everyone. It has been quite some time. <sighs> you should have just kept the mask on, Angie. If you're all quite finished, it's time I make the final introduction. Your Highness! Cedric, why are you- Ah, if it isn't my dear sister Alvin, and Class 7. Your little stunt in leaves caused me no end of headaches. <sighs> you had it coming! That's what you get for getting Elise and Tio all wrapped up in your schemes! That's simply how it works between us. You should understand this by now. The rivalries are no different, but this particular matter has been entrusted to me by Chancellor Osborne himself. Consider this a little congratulatory visit from us to celebrate the commencement of Operation Meal Mirage. Were we just hacked? Yep. They probably used the Society's Astral Code to infiltrate the system. Courtesy of Bell and the Fool, I'd assume. Sounds like we're in for a fair bit of trouble then, huh? Yeah. They're coming. What the? Damn. They brought Imperial warships. No, not quite. This is the bridge. We have an emergency. We've got eight crimson ships approaching on our nine. And, and with them, a 280 arch class airship. Damn. There's only one ship that friggin' massive. You mean, the one that appeared during the Orbital shutdown? That's right. Ouroboros' pride and joy. The largest battleship in the history of mankind. The Crimson Ark. The Glorious.
Now, shall we get going? Best of luck, all of you! You guys be careful, okay? Wait, what in the world's going on? Whatever it is, it looks like we got a real juicy scoop on our hands. Oh, no you don't. I believe you all know what it is you must do. Yeah. We got this. Just leave it to us. We are currently under attack by Ouroboros' Enhanced Jaegers and members of the Red Constellation. The Red Constellation, huh? Gonna be a real pain in the ass, especially with the Blitz there. Yeah, no kidding. Gilbert's probably heading up the Enhanced Jaegers. Not that he's anything to worry about. His archaisms might still give us some trouble, though. But speak for yourself. I'll make sure that little errand boy regrets ever stepping foot in here. Ash, Kurt, I'll be counting on you. You got it! Understood. We must stop His Highness. Yuna, Altina, we're going to need your support as well. Of course! Let's do this, Ellie! I'll give it my best. Time for you to show me that new Orbal gear you told me about, Tita. Yep, prepare to be amazed. All right, guys. It's time to begin our joint operation. Team A will go starboard. Team B, you head port. Our current position is the rear side of the lower deck. Let's make our way up to the top deck. Take out any intruders you find along the way. Right! This will be the perfect chance to put our teamwork to the test, huh? It's our time to shine, Reen. Let's go! Right. Show me what you've got, Lloyd. That one looks tough. Don't let your guard down. Heads up. That one means business. This place. The staircase past here should take us to the deck. <laughs> right. That's how you ran off with the princess two years ago. Ah, uh, I heard about that. <laughs> wow. Not bad at all. I, I rescued her. Don't go giving people the wrong idea, Crow. Sure, okay. If you say so. Okay, we can tease him about it some other time, Ash.
Nice dodge. Nice to see you again too, young master. And you have Detective Lloyd Bannings with you as well. It's been a while. Huh. These are my new hunting grounds. You can forget about making it to the upper deck. I suggest you retreat now. You wish, Black Fang. I've been itching to take you and those Chevaliers on for a while. Having the young master here is just an added bonus. Men, ready your weapons! Let's see them withstand the sting of the Red Scorpion! Gah! It's down! Too slow! Too slow! <laughs> An opening! I've got you! You're finished! <sighs> it's my turn! Arcane Gale! It's down! There! Let's go! It's my turn! Ready to go! Let's do this! My turn! Strike! Damn you! I've got this! I've got you! You're finished! Moving out! Ha! There! It's mine! I'm up! Let's go! Very well. I failed. Now, let's continue onward. <laughs> Yay, I did it!
looks like a real tough one. Be wary. That foe is fearsome. I think this corridor may be where I tried to stop Instructor Reen two years ago. Oh, right! Back when he did stuff to you and then ran off with the princess. What a creep. He's beyond despicable. How could he do that to such a precious, innocent young girl? Okay... Now, now, everyone. Don't tease him like that. Oh, he's pretty popular. It's fine if we make fun of him a little. He brought this upon himself. I'd swing by and say hello. You can, and should, address me as Gilbert Stein, Regimental Commander of the 6th Enhanced Jaeger Brigade. Oh, thank you to forget about my old job title. The mere thought of those days brings a tear to my eye. was then, this is now. I only graced you with my help because the situation called for it. Nothing more. In the three years since, I've been climbing the ranks in Ouroboros, rung by rung. Though I've suffered a few setbacks here and there, I know this time I'll make it to the top. They'll make me an enforcer for sure. Or maybe even an anguis. Good goddess. There he goes again. We don't need a whole preamble for every fight. How about you stow your mouth and show your commander some respect? you like this? <laughs> oh, he did. 
But after my heroic self-sacrifice in Phantasma, I had the 13 factories build me another! But don't think it's the same as the old one. This model rolled out just the other day. Greater and grander than ever before! Marveling in fear, are you? You should consider this an honor. History will remember you as yet another victory on the increasingly impressive resume of the great Gilbert Stein! I'll wipe the floor with you! Dance for me. <clears throat> it's my turn! <clears throat> Wide open! I'll assist! <clears throat> I shall go. Arcus, activate! Continue mission. <sighs> Too strong. Pull yourselves together. We can't let the Red Constellation see us like this. My reputation as your commander's at stake. At this rate. Wait. What's happening? <laughs> Lloyd's team will be taking on the Red Constellation. I hope they'll be all right. Of course they will. They've got Joshua and Reen with them, too. Yeah. Let's go join the others up on deck.
The deck's just up ahead. We've got to keep the enemy's main forces at bay. We don't know what's up ahead. Be ready for anything. Your Highness! There they are! Bell! Zephyr, too! And Lecter's with him. Damn! They've got us surrounded. Uh, Sharon! So the two of you have come as well. And the rest are on the other side! Allow me to congratulate you all on making it this far. But then again, I should expect no less from such an accomplished group of heroes. You guys managed to take down Gareth's crew, huh? Not bad. Well, technically speaking, they made more of a, shall we say, tactical retreat. Impressive as it is, I'm afraid your luck has just run out. <laughs> Kind of funny how we all have this boy-girl split going on, though. Not a whole lot of places for you to run here. Unless you plan on getting through all that. There's nowhere left to go. I've got to buy guys some time. I have only one thing to ask you, Your Highness. You said earlier that the Chancellor himself was the one who put you up to this. Is that true? Huh? What are you trying to say? You caught on that fast, huh? Sharp as always. <laughs> of course it's true. I wouldn't lie about something like that. Though I suppose he didn't explicitly tell me to take down the ship and everyone aboard. As I thought. Hold on. This is insane. So you're going to slaughter all these world leaders to jumpstart the war yourself? Yes. That sums it up rather well. But... It doesn't have to be that messy. Surrender quietly, and I'll see to it your deaths are staged. Naturally, the tragedy will be reported as a cruel assault by the Calvardian army. Wow. It's almost impressive how far off the deep end this guy's gone. You'd stoop to staged lies and false pretenses just to start a war? Unlike your brother, it sounds like you've learned nothing from Hommel. <laughs> I see. So, you're one of the orphans of Hamel. Then you should know better than anyone. Our world is built on a bedrock of lies. <laughs> Joshua? Mm. Uh, who cares about all that crap? Princey boy here wanted our help. So Lady Belle was like, hey, why not? We procured the Crimson Arg at His Highness's request. After all, who are we to deny his command? <laughs> the Grandmaster gave us the go-ahead, of course, but I've been looking forward to taking it out on a spin for a while now. You really are a slave to your desires, aren't you? Must be a third anguish thing. Bell, what happened to you? It's not like you're any better, fool! Furthermore, the gender split between us doesn't wholly apply with you here. Hmm? Oh, right, right. My bad. How could I forget? Hmm? Huh? Ugh! Enough of this meaningless prattle! They may have us cornered, but we have them outnumbered. And I, for one, refuse to back down. We'll fight no matter the odds! Huh? You said it! You're way off base if you think we're going down without a fight. Agreed. The many dignitaries gathered here today are depending on us to ensure their safe escape. We've got our own path to find. A third one, just like Reen said. We're not letting you close it off that easy. Right. If it's do or die, we choose to do. Lloyd. Joshua. Huh. 
They're bringing out the inspirational speeches. Guess that means it's go time, huh? Indeed. We won't let you get away with this, Your Highness. <laughs> Very well. Go ahead and stake your lives on a mere glimpse of hope. You may have numbers, but we have power on our side. Guess it's time for you youngins to show us what you're worth. Yours is still bright, yeah? The Bracer? You don't look all that strong to me, but I bet that means you're hiding something nice under the hood. Let's see if I can get you to bear it all. I'd love a little taste. Uh, excuse me? Whatever. We might have missed each other back in Crossbell, Bloody Shirley. But the only thing you're getting a taste of today is the business end of my staff. I'll help too. Maryabelle. Ready to pick up where we left off two years ago? Adios has brought me here so that I may finally set you straight. You're my closest friend, Belle. It's up to me to make you see the light. My, my. Since when did you two grow so determined? If you're so eager to oppose me, then fine. I'll relish hearing your sweet cries of agony. Wow, I can't even tell which one of you is more twisted. Oh well, guess that means the friendly banter phase is over now, hmm? About time! I'm ready to get down to business! I think I'll start by wiping that smug little smile off your face! Two Knights of the Stallridder and the Severing Eclipse! We will stop you here! <laughs> what a lively little get-together this is shaping up to be! A shame we can't stop for a spot of tea! I really did enjoy the kind you serve, Sharon! <laughs> Why, Lady Wren? That banquet was four whole years ago. I'm honored you'd find it so memorable. You seem to have grown considerably since last we saw you, Jubilee. But enough talk. It's time. Begin Radiant Star Formation. Let's go, Kruger! Given your power, you should have no problem keeping up with us. Of course. My strength is yours. Wait, with her? But how? Huh, <laughs> guess it can't hurt to play the prince's little game. Indeed. However, this little game will influence the rest of the war. Try and keep this entertaining for us, okay, Class 7? Oh, believe me, you'll be in stitches after we're done with you. If you're so intent on drowning this world in dissonance, then we'll just have to silence you. My Yeager days ain't behind me just yet. Not until we settle our little rivalry for good. Teams A and B! Prepare to break through on both fronts. Goddess be with us. Together, we'll overcome every barrier in our way. Right! What's the deal with all the dudes here? I don't know. Why does it matter, man? They will make fine opponents regardless. Crap! 
Crash! Thunderbolt formation! I will not falter again! Ready? Phantom Ray! Rest in peace. Now! Uh, moving out! Ha! My turn! My soul is one with my sword. Light! Purge my foes! Uh, Gemini, Gemini, judgment! judgment. ain't so easy after all. <clears throat> Just as strong as I anticipated. I've got this! <clears throat> <laughs> Knew it wouldn't be that easy. the blades of Ouroboros. Now face us in all our splendor! We will not hold back. Prepare yourselves. Well then, shall we? I'm only just getting started. Prism? I shall go. Arcus, activate. Ha! The camp candle! Impressive, as always. <sighs> You've worn me out quite a bit. <laughs> Remarkably done. Surely, dear. How about we toy with them a bit? <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. At least you two seem to be hitting it off. Shatter! Warhammer! It's time we entertained our guests. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> nope. Let's get him. No problem. Yeah. Don't give up. Why, thank you. Take this. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs>
Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha! <laughs> yeah! I'm going! I'm gonna get ya! Yeah! <clears throat> How about this? <laughs> Burn! <laughs> nope! <clears throat> Let's get him! No problem. <laughs> My turn now. Dance for me. <laughs> All right! By flowing mana. Nah, -uh. be gone. <laughs> Are you I okay? Appreciate it. <laughs> Here's a present. Go, go, go! <laughs> Leave it to me! Ha! Huh? My turn now! Dance for me! <laughs> Here I go! Oh, 
Alrighty then. It's my turn. Here I go! Take this! Ha! <coughs> Help me out now, would you? Alice, Shaw, Kanan, now, off you go! Why, thank you. Here I go! There! <clears throat> Very well. It's my turn now. Which Here room? I come! Yeah! <laughs> wow, that's messed up! <laughs> now then. Huh. Think you can handle this? Meet your end! <laughs> Wide open! They're mine! <laughs> I figured you'd put up a fight. It's my turn! Let's bring out the big guns! Focusing energy... Fire! Not done yet! Go! By flowing mana, be gone! Begin. Oh, holy right of Adios. Come forth from the heavens and shine upon us. Aura rain. I appreciate it. <laughs> now then. Dance for me. <laughs> it's my turn now. Now then, time to annihilate you all! 
You'd best give it everything you've got! I'm done showing mercy. Prepare yourself! Roar! <sighs> Healing strike! <sighs> it's down! Here I go! You're done for! Eat this! <laughs> You're off guard! You're wide open! My turn! Judgment time! Eat this! Struggle in vain! Vermilion Fervor! Won't let you! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> My turn! Try this on for size! Crimson... Gale! <laughs> Won't let you! <laughs> Moving out! Judgment time! Eat this! There! Gotcha! <laughs> I'm up! Roar! <gasps> uh, healing strike! <laughs> it's down! There! <clears throat> You're stronger than I expected. Eye <laughs> for an eye! My turn. Judgment time. Eat this. Ha! Take this. <laughs> right. Zero Breaker! My turn! You're done for! Eat this! <laughs> eye for an eye! Here we go! Fly away! I'm up! Roar! Uh, healing strike! Now! There! My turn! Them. Raging Hammer! My turn! You're done for! Eat this! Uh, got you! Talisman Blade! <laughs> <laughs> 
Here I come! Let's go, Mjolnir! <laughs> Moving out. Too slow. <laughs> They're down. Gotcha. <laughs> it's my turn. What? Here I come! Let's go, Mjolnir! Not on my watch! Eye for an eye! Here I go! You're done for! Eat this! Uh. Ha! Ha! Oh. I'm up! Roar! Uh. Helix strike! Uh. Now! There! Uh. All right! Judgment time! Eat this! <laughs> Back at you! Right! Break them! Raging Hammer! Let's go! <laughs> My turn! My turn. Sir! They're down! And open it! Got it! Ha! Let's go! Roar! Strike! Now! You're wide open! That uh, wouldn't be fun if you didn't put up a fight. Moving out. It ends here! Tulk! Rising Sun! All right. About time I got this started. Yeah! Eat steel. Burn I just, I just give, up give up if I were you. Eat. My turn. All right, let's do this. Blade of Darkness, cleave my foes. See you in Gehenna. Fourfold Slayer. <laughs> Stubborn pests.
Well, we managed to meet up in the middle, at least. Yeah. But otherwise, I'd say we're at a stalemate here. <sighs> These guys are a real pain in the ass. It makes for a killer photo op, though. These snaps are like gold! They've taken countermeasures to ensure the Merkaba wouldn't be able to act. So it seems. With all these guns trained on us, we'd end up taking too much concentrated fire. <laughs> Maybe we can just shoot down one of theirs. I'm afraid that's not an option. They'd simply use it against us. Agreed. They need only spin it as a declaration of war. The Erebonian Intelligence Division is poised and ready to flood the world with misinformation. All they need is an excuse. Then the Scarecrow's already at work. I'd expect no less from Osborne's right-hand man. We'll have to count on Richard and the others to stave them off. Indeed. Lecter, how did this happen? They've got the whole airspace locked down tight. Not one gap to be seen. Brigadier General Bardius, shouldn't we go help them? If Zephyr's out there, I should be too. This is the perfect chance for me to knock some sense back into George. No. I need all of you to stand down. It seems your worst case scenario is upon us. I'm afraid so. M Mildeen? No! You don't mean... Major activity on the Glorious! There's something massive deploying on deck! Oh no! I knew it! Ions? Three of them. They look a little different from the ones we saw in Crossbell. These must be their second models. They're coming. Ah! <laughs> Remember your orders! Hold the line! <laughs> you won't get us that easy! Take this! Watch out! All ships, evasive maneuvers! If we can just keep up the pressure. Damn it. <laughs> Gaius! Rosine! Coming. Oh. How did they get it to land so precisely? Oh, a little flashy for my taste, but not bad. Oh, come on. This is just overkill. <laughs> What magnificent power! Even greater than the Empire's Divine Knights! Ooh, nice one, Lady Val! I guess that creepy doll obsession of yours makes you pretty good at controlling ions, huh? Why, naturally. A marionette is a marionette, no matter the size. Instructor! 
Are you gonna call him in? Yeah. I'll leave everything else to you. Heed my call. Valimar! Come! Ordeen! Of course. Those are Divine Knights? They're even more impressive than I imagined. Ah, finally bringing out your ace in the hole, huh? However, we've accounted for this. To me! Testarossa! Come, Zector! T two more of them? The Vermilion and Palatinate Knights! Prince Cedric! You sure you're up for this old man? Well then, since we have this chance, how about we start the rivalries right here and now? Hey, cool your jets there, little prince. Doesn't count if we're not in a shrine. The Ion Gamma. Seeing it from the other side of the battlefield, it's overwhelming. Having second thoughts? I really do pity you, Duvali. Hopefully you see now that you've bitten off more than you can chew. Unfortunately, the situation will only get worse for you from here on. <laughs> Check and mate! Damn, this puts us in a real bind. What do we do now? Off your asses, everyone! It's time to move! My patience has reached its limit. We need to help. Hold on, guys! We're coming for you! Let's find our way up to the deck! I can teleport us there. Hold on! No! That won't be necessary. We have one final landing craft left on board. With it, you will make your escape, along with Her Highness. I'll head to the deck. Be sure to recover Schwarzer and the others when the chance strikes. B but that would mean leaving you behind. Just tell us, Muse, what are you trying to do here? Lady Mildine accounted for this, should things go south. And as it so happens, everything went just as she predicted. This is our contingency plan. All we're doing is putting it into play. Everyone, it's been my pleasure to know each and every one of you. I ask that you give Instructor Reen and the rest of Class 7 my deepest regards. Muse? What are you saying? You want to get yourselves killed? Is that it? We don't wish to die here. But dire straits call for dire measures. We will soon plot a course for the Crimson Ark. Ramming speed. There'll be no getting away for them, given the distance. That's crazy. Even if you do take them down, a mid-air collision on that scale would blow you to smithereens. Besides, what would the Weisland army do without its flagship? And what of Mil Mirage? How do you expect it to go on if we lose all three of you? Not to worry. Mil Mirage was set in motion the moment Lieutenant General Bright was named Supreme Commander. The Weisslin Army's core forces need only await his orders, and I suspect Vita will come to their aid as well. We're fully aware of how heavy a blow sacrificing this ship will be. But if it allows us to take down the Crimson Ark in turn, then as far as exchanges go, there are far worse moves to play. Muse, Principal Le Guin! But why? Mildine! No, Muse! What reason is there for you to throw your life away as well? It's only right that the one responsible for a plan that will kill millions joins them in death. I long ago decided to stand my ground with the generals, should it come to this. Though in truth, Perhaps I'm simply not strong enough to bear all that grief. <sighs> you really... <sighs> As the Supreme Commander of the Viceland Army, I order you to evacuate this ship immediately. Notify all crew members. Prepare to execute Plan D. As you wish. Commence Plan D! For the glory of the Viceland Army! Yes, my lord! Yes, Your Highness!
The landing craft is in the hold directly below. Make your way to the elevator at once. Or else, goddess be my witness, I will cut you down right where you stand. <laughs> Shit. You leave us no choice. Actually, I don't think we have to go at all. Huh? Kia? What do you mean? She's exactly right. It's the old man! Suspend Plan D until further notice. This course of action has already been discussed. I was under the impression we'd come to an agreement. Indeed. You truly are a remarkable young woman, capable of influencing the very fate of the world itself. But it would seem both of us failed to give credit where credit was due. Namely, to the potential of the Third Path, and the wings which light its way. <sighs> Did you just say wings? There's only one thing in Erebonia that comes to mind. Yeah! They're coming! Ah! I recognize that sound! Hmm. Wait, isn't that... Now what? <sighs> it's getting closer! Another enemy airship? No! That ship! It's... Confirm visual on enemy strike force. Three ion units also confirmed. Breaking into combat airspace. Ready to execute plan 07. Then let us tarry no longer. Landing party, are you prepared? That we are. You can just leave the rest to us. We shall take care of things from here on out. <laughs> to think I get to bear witness to such a dramatic scene firsthand. <laughs> Such are the benefits that come with our roles on this stage. Let's get to it already. Been a long time since I had the chance to get a little wild. Attention all crew. Today marks the day of our maiden voyage. And what a day it is. But this grand blue yonder is no place for confinement. Let us show them we won't so easily dance to their tune. Too? Wait, no! It's... What? Was it always that crazy huge? Like the party's really getting started now!
The hell did you guys come from? Hot damn. Talk about crashing a party. Fear not. Your salvation has arrived. Patrick! And not just him. Shara! That's right. I hope you haven't gotten into too much trouble without me. Sorry for dropping in out of the blue. I imagine it must be confusing for those of you I haven't met. My name is Sherizard Harvey, but some of you might know me better as the Liberlian Bracer Guild's Silver Streak. You're Estelle's friend, aren't you? We heard you'd been missing for some time. So you're okay after all? Seems so, though she's certainly not the only familiar face to drop in. I have to say, you two are the last people I would have expected to show up. Ha <laughs> ha! You should know this by now. Where the spotlight goes, so too shall I. Better late than never, I suppose. This should help even the scales. Phantom Thief B? Huh, impressive. They use some kind of magic to stop the big guy here in his tracks. I could learn quite a bit about being an anguish from you. Perhaps you could give me some private tutelage sometime. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I'm afraid we're not quite on the same team here, so to speak. What is even going on right now? I detect a layer to this that is beyond my comprehension. Man, there's a lot I'd like to comment on, but now's not really the time. You can say that again. It seems for once, we're both on the same page. <clears throat> How? How are you here? You were aboard the Courageous when it exploded. I saw it with my own eyes. <clears throat> eh, who can say? Maybe Adio spared me just so I could come spoil your fun. <sighs> You're Instructor Reen's friend. What's up, Reen? How you been? Good to see you too, Estelle. Joshua. I'm finally back from my little vacation in Gehenna. Toval. No way. I swear this better not just be a dream. You're okay. I can't believe it. Huh. You don't look like much of an immortal to me. Doubt you could have gotten revived. Yeah. As far as I can tell, he's just a perfectly normal guy from head to toe. Unlike us. You telling me a regular ass guy like you survived a whole friggin' ship exploding? That's right. Like I said, I had Adios there looking out for me. Well, maybe not just Adios. <laughs> <laughs> well now, this doesn't quite match up with what we were told, now does it? I'm starting to think someone played a dirty little trick on us. It bears reminding that Master Toval was not the only passenger on the Courageous when it exploded. Then... That would mean... Ah, what a delight it is to know my memory lingers on in so many minds. Please, open your Arcus units and let your imagination become reality.
You'll have to excuse my aesthetic augmentation. Rest assured, before you sits the very same devilish rogue you've always known. They've got a few branch campus kids tagging along too. Unbelievable. <laughs> Looks like His Highness has got us beat. Indeed. One might say he utterly outplayed us. It's been a good while, Ring. I see you've gone through a bit of a makeover yourself. And just like yours truly, you're all the sexier for it, you handsome little rascal, you. Your Highness, I. I can't believe it! You're really alive! But how? What in the world happened back then? That's what we want to know! Why didn't you tell us? Do you have any idea how we felt when they came to the world and told us you blew up? I can only imagine. And for that, I cannot apologize enough. The circumstances which forced me to secrecy were as entangling as a rose bush, and twice as prickly. Ah, but what does it matter? No remorse could hold us from the blooming jubilation of this long-awaited reunion of ours. <laughs> we can't argue with you there. Well, I suppose this explains why Cher went off the radar. Pretty much. I happened to randomly stumble upon some info about his survival. That was why I had to cut off all contact. We couldn't have information like that leaking out to just anyone. Not only for Olivier's sake, but the Courageous Twos as well. Well, I guess that makes sense, but... Oh, sorry, Reen. We kind of cut you off there, huh? Not at all. Honestly, I'm still trying to wrap my mind around all this. I didn't expect to see you here either, Major Michael. Much less you, Lieutenant Colonel Mueller. This is what I meant when I said I had plans of my own. It's been a fair bit longer for us, though, hasn't it, Schwarzer? A shame I couldn't say this sooner, but I'd like to thank you for all you've done for Kurt. Mueller! Thank goodness you're all right. When I heard the Seventh got disbanded, I didn't know what to think. Ah, Kurt, there you are. I can tell you've gotten stronger since I last saw you, but I think it's best we set our family gathering aside for the time being. Indeed. survived after all. I'm so relieved. But I regret to inform you, Operation Jormungand is already underway. The same goes for that brazen Neil Mirage scheme. So tell me, Olivert, what could you possibly hope to accomplish with that overblown ship of yours at this point? <laughs> if I may hazard a guess, perhaps he's here to join Neil Mirage. Alas, no. With Muse, Cassius, and all the other presiding dignitaries involved, Mille Mirage is in as good a set of hands as can be. I, or rather we, have appeared before you today for one reason, and one reason only. To serve as the wings upon which deliverance to a third path is granted. Jormungand and Mil Mirage. Two massive operations of unavoidable consequence. Yet amidst these titans is another force. Those unyielding in their hope that the twilight will soon give way to the dawn. Reen, Lloyd, and Estelle. 
and each of their companions that walk this path with them. Not to mention a multitude of others, all ready to lend aid to their cause. Across the continent, people of all walks are making the decision to follow their hearts. Thus, so too shall we, so that our wings may help them soar. And soaring high above the holds of Erebonia's curse, we will join together as one, to become the radiant rays of hope, piercing through the oppressive darkness of despair. To that end, I hereby name us. Not the crimson wings of the Civil War, nor the winds of freedom on the Western Front, but our third and greatest title, the Radiant Wings. Your Highness. The Radiant Wings, huh? Not a bad name. <laughs> it has a lovely ring to it, doesn't it? Huh. Didn't even take you five minutes to flip the whole damn script on us. Ha <laughs> ha! Finer words have never been spoken, O oh eternal rival of mine. Who boy. The dead keep cropping up one by one. We really screwed the pooch here, huh? Then why don't we go ahead and make things right? This little charade ends here. Members of the society, exterminate them all. What? Your Highness! Seriously? Haven't you had enough yet? <laughs> well, why not? I'm always up for a bit of slaughter and destruction. And there's nothing quite like putting a damper on someone's parade. <laughs> I suppose we couldn't expect it to hold forever. Shit, don't tell me. It's engaging spatial annihilation. The Type Beta is switching to high-speed mode as well. <sighs> now you've done it! Enough chit-chat. Time to say goodbye. Damn. It would seem they aren't bluffing. Stop this at once, Cedric! Why are you still doing this? Oliver just came back to us! Don't you see, Elfin? That's exactly why I must do this! I'm just as glad as you to see him alive again. But feelings such as that are only for the weak! We're ending this world and creating a new order in its place. And an undertaking this great leaves me no room for weakness! Chancellor Osborne entrusted me with a mission. And I swear, by my hand, I will carry it through! I believe you've actually done quite enough for now, your highness. Huh? That voice. My, my. Speak of the devil. Chancellor Osborne! Father... Rufus, too. Instructor Claire... Even you? <laughs> I come to you today from the Imperial Capital. 
you'll have to excuse me for not attending in person. As for my fellow world leaders, President Rocksmith, Prince Albert, Princess Claudia, my warmest greetings to you all. <laughs> You're the last person I expected to make an appearance here today. Our greetings to you as well. A shame we couldn't meet under better circumstances. I must apologize for not giving you prior notice of our visit. Not at all, Your Highness. This airspace is a neutral zone. No permission is needed from the Aeroponian government to enter it. Lieutenant General Cassius Bright. Just how long has it been? Since your surprise visit to Liberal? About three years. Though it appears your people have been fervently active in our regional capitals in your stead. You flatter me. Our work is nothing compared to that of your team from RNA Research. Are they talking about the Airbonian Intelligence Division? Yeah. Richard and the others have been struggling to counter their efforts. I see the Special Support Section has chosen to attend as well. I do hope our dear Rufus isn't causing you too many difficulties. Here and there, perhaps. Though I would very much like to establish a better working relationship with them, wherever we can. What a barefaced liar. It's a pleasure to meet you again, Your Excellency. I can't help but be reminded of our conversation at Orcus Tower two years back. Ah, yes. When we spoke of the resolve needed in trying times. How very nostalgic. And last, but certainly not least, Prince Oliver, my deepest apologies. I scarcely realized just how gravely I'd underestimated you. I imagine even the Duchess and her cohorts must share in my sentiment. <laughs> Indeed. It would seem I'm not as keen as I thought myself to be. That's quite enough flattery for today, Your Excellency. As it currently stands, we can no longer stop either one of these grand operations from commencing. And yet, as I've already declared, we will continue on as the Wings of Passage. Boreen, Lloyd, Estelle, and every one of their allies. For I know in my heart of hearts that their light will shine through to the very end. Your Highness, if we weren't sure of ourselves before, we definitely are now. <laughs> He's trying way too hard to sound cool. Be my guest. You may flit around as much as you please, but know this. You have only six days before Operation Jormungand makes its move. Huh? As one of the authors behind this plan, allow me to issue a declaration. The order to commence Operation Jormungand will be officially given at the stroke of noon on the 1st of September. <laughs> D-Day. The start of the Great War. Indeed and preceding it an omen of epic proportions to which the entire continent will bear witness. The harbinger of the end of the world, the Great Twilight. The same day will also mark the beginning of the rivalry of the Seven. Jaeger King Rutger Klossel, I hope you are prepared. Sure am. And what of you, Seventh Anguis of Ouroboros, Arian Road the Steel Maiden? I have no objections. <laughs> I must admit, I'm deeply interested in how you all managed to escape that explosion. But I can wait until a more appropriate time to satisfy my curiosity. <laughs> then it's true. Yeah. Though I bet the Phantom Thief had something to do with it. Now, if I may have your attention, everyone. I'd like to present two individuals who deserve some recognition for their contributions to the rivalries. M Mother! And Professor Schmidt, too? So when you said you were leaving on business... <sighs> Hello. I suspect this comes to you as somewhat of a surprise. 
but I simply assisted with an off-the-record request from the Erebonian government. That is all. Miss Croyce, the professor and I have completed fine-tuning the device, as you asked. <laughs> Marvelous! The both of you have my utmost appreciation. Ah, 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 ah. You can save your empty gratitude for someone else. I am simply working toward my own goals. Nothing more. Uh, what exactly are you planning, Bell? Allow me to make one final introduction to our roster. One not even we expected. And yet, one that will surely prove instrumental in setting the stage for the rivalries. Uh huh. Now that you mention it, I haven't seen McFirebro around in a while. Yo, you called? Man, I love it when there's a time limit. Really gets the bud pumping, you feel me? But I ain't the star here. Hey, come on out already. Hmm. Uh, no way. <sighs> Viscount Arsaid? So this is what became of you. I was curious how and where you'd managed to wander off after losing your left arm. His left arm? Father! So you've turned even the Radiant Blade Master into one of your puppets, then? That would be wrong, for I am no puppet. I am Victor S. Arsade. I have lost neither my memories nor my sense of self. It brings me no small pain for us to meet again like this, Cassius. Perhaps, but it's no small delight to know you're still alive as well. I can only assume this is the curse compelling you against your will. Huh? Know something we don't, old man? A similar case occurred in Liberal three years ago. In Phantasma. We encountered artificial copies of people who had the same memories and personalities as the originals. You're trying to tell me it's happening all over again? No, that was in the Recluse Cube. What we have here in Erebonia is something on a far greater scale than that. Yeah, the curse is forcing Mr. Viscount to do whatever it wants him to. He's the strongest swordmaster in the Empire. That's why he was chosen to set the stage for the rivalries. Precisely. All to create the best possible conditions for the resurrection of the Great One. So that's how it works. It's almost as though the curse has a consciousness, a will of its own. No, Father. So his skills as one of the greatest swordsmen on the continent are being used against him. <sighs> There's no need for anguish. These are nothing more than the whims of fate. When next we meet, it will be as heralds of the rivalries. Reen, Laura, I expect you to put forth your very best when the time comes to pit steel against steel. Catch you when the fun finally starts. We'll be waiting. Alrighty, guess we'd best head out ourselves. Best of luck, Miss Maiden. If I see you again, it'll be between my crosshairs. Very well. I will await that moment with bated breath. Ines, Anea, return to me. I will require you at my side once more. Yes, my lord. As you wish. Ha! <laughs> Busy times ahead for all of us, huh? Our final battlefield draws near. The very thought is enough to make the blood stir. <laughs> Just what kind of farce do all of you take this for? We aren't finished here! Not by a long shot! Who do you think you are, deserting your duty? Sorry, kid. We got our priorities. <laughs> That's quite enough, your highness. The task you were given was a greeting, a show of formality and nothing further. Evidently, you have failed to understand that. I have to warn you against overstepping your bounds. Or must I remind you of your position as an iron blood? <coughs> your Highness. Uh, uh, now, now. Let us leave the matter at this. Return to Heimdall for now, Your Highness. There yet remains an important role you must play. Understood.
Us, Zeno, Leo. My lord. Ouch! That princey boy is gonna sulk on that one for weeks. Looks like the party's over now. What a shame. I was having so much fun. I do hate to cut our engagement short, but I believe it's time we made our exit. Understood. See you around, guys! <laughs> Continue on with your struggle, vain as it may be. I want to relish making you squirm before we finish you off for good. Now, if you'll excuse us... Enhance Jaeger Brigade, fall back! Get moving! Belle, just how far will you take this? First Sharon, and now Mother too? Guess we won't be settling the score this time around. We'll go ahead and see ourselves out too. Hmm. George! So you're gonna leave without saying a single thing, again? Don't worry, we'll be able to settle things soon. But don't expect any mercy from me when that happens. <laughs> right. Real convincing. George, or would you prefer I call you Georg? Either way, I owe you my thanks. You can keep them. Farewell. Man, that guy really isn't cut out for this. <laughs> Look who's talking. Exactly. You're no different. Whoa! Didn't realize you guys were keeping demons up in that ship. Oh, Lecter. I can only guess who you're referring to. Still, it really is wonderful to see you again. It's been so long since we last met at the trade conference. I won't even bother scolding you anymore, Lecter. All I ask is that you promise me one thing. That we'll still have a class reunion, no matter how this all ends. Leo wants just the same. Jill and Hans do, too. Sheesh. You guys just can't learn to let it go, can you? Fine. I'll bite. Now, making a promise costs me nothing, after all. You just gotta promise me that you survive long enough to get there. Of course. The same goes for you. I'll be waiting, with a fist curled and ready to knock some sense back into you. So be prepared! I'm glad everyone was able to have this chance to see each other one last time. With this period of relative peace nearing its end, may each of us give every last ounce of our strength in the coming days. And Reen, you have a decision to make. Will you give in to your cursed destiny? Rebel against your fate? Will you simply flee? Or will you continue to struggle with every fiber of your being, until you have seen this abyss of despair through to the end. <laughs> Whether we'll ever meet again, I can't say for sure. But if we do, I guarantee you'll have no doubt about which path I've taken. <laughs> My goodness, His Excellency certainly is impulsive. Farewell, everyone. May you enjoy what little time you have left before the end of days is upon us. I pray that you all have a safe journey home. Be assured that neither the Imperial Army nor Ouroboros will interfere with your return. On that note, you are also free to go and visit His Majesty at his bedside, should you so desire. As for you, Lloyd, I have temporarily suspended your arrest warrant. I imagine you'd like a chance to visit those dear to you. Far be it from me to hold you from your final farewells. <gasps> Wait, really? <laughs> Think of it as my personal apology to you for Operation Birdcage. We will be recalling our troops from Michelin as well. Why don't you enjoy yourselves there one last time? 
I'd like to thank you for the consideration. Though not half as much as I'd like to deck you in the face! Instructor Claire. They're always so difficult to get through to. Well, this has been a most productive encounter. I don't know if I trust them to not interfere with our return, so we'll be taking our leave as soon as possible. I wish you all the best of luck in the coming days. May each of us do our utmost, no matter what path we've chosen. I shall find a way to pay my respects to His Majesty before setting a course back home. With that, farewell for now. Princess Elfin, Lady Mildine, and General Le Guin, congratulations on rallying so many to your side this day. As for Reen, Lloyd, Estelle, and all the rest, may Adios give you her blessing, wherever your endeavors might take you. And once again, Prince Olivert, I can't express enough how much of a relief it is to see you alive. <laughs> Always a pleasure brightening your day with a bit of bewilderment. And Cassius, though we walk different paths for now, perhaps we could meet for a drink one day. I imagine Zinn would be eager to join. Ha! Huh. I'll be sure to take you up on that. Estelle, Joshua, Ren, Sherazard, Agate, Tita. We shall meet again. Take care of yourselves, as well as each other. For sure. We may not be on the same team exactly, but good luck all the same, Dad. <laughs> You better not get beat by some Imperial hotshot, you got it? You can leave any matters in Erebonia to me. I'll make sure to be close in touch with Sarah. The Society's at work all over the continent. Be careful out there, Dad. We'll let you know if we discover anything about their plans. Be careful, Mr. Bright! You too, Chloe! That was way too intense. Agreed. Not just the battles themselves, but the entire situation. Yeah. Having the fate of the entire continent at stake can get a little overwhelming. Huh. <laughs> Don't go wussing out on us just yet. We're finally in the home stretch. Yes. That we are. Oh, Muse. You changed your clothes back. So I have. I suppose we should count ourselves lucky things ended up as nice as they did. <sighs> I swear, Muse. You don't really think your signature sweet smile will be enough for us to forgive you, do you? Huh? I was about to ask just the same. You were about to pull some real wild shit back there, weren't you? Just so you know, we overheard your conversation on the bridge. I need to have more than just a few words with you, as your instructor. Yes, Instructorine. That was... strangely meek of her. What, you sick or something? More so than usual, I mean. I'd say she realized she went a bit too far this time around. Though perhaps we're partially to blame, for all the pressure we've placed upon her. <laughs> Such is the folly of youth, wouldn't you say? Oliver. It pleases us all to have you grace us in good health, Your Highness. You'll have to direct your thanks to the many others who helped this come to pass. Our endgame is nigh, Reen. Should you wish it, my wings are prepared to lift you to a new path. Uh... <laughs> it would be our honor, Your Highness. But before that, on behalf of us all, welcome back. It's good to be back. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, Liberlians, Crossbellans, and Erebonians alike. Welcome aboard the second successor of the high-speed cruiser Arce, the Courageous Two!
Despite being a new model of ship, the system you see here largely emulates that of the previous Courageous. Our operations manual only covers the bare minimum. Should you find anything lacking, you'll have to figure it out as you go. Understood. I'll make sure to pass it on to everyone else. In total, it spans a length of 92 Arge. A considerable step up from the previous 74 Arge class. However, because the ship is so much bigger, you'll need to carefully watch the speed and engine output. Ha! Huh. So she's a wild one, eh? Sounds to me like this girl's gonna need a bit more taming than the last one. This terminal should give you complete command over all the ship's facilities and fire control systems. It comes equipped with anti-hacking measures, specially developed by Professors Albert and Erica Russell themselves. You mean Mom and Grandpa made it? <laughs> we should have no problems then. Incredible. This ship is state-of-the-art. And that computer's one of the Epstein Foundation's next-generation models. Weren't they only just developed? That's right. And its hull has the latest innovations in hydrodynamic engineering, courtesy of the Ruhr Institute of Technology. Plus, it seems to be outfitted with ZCF's newest next-gen orbital engine, too. It only gets more and more unbelievable every time I hear it. Just how did you manage to construct a cutting-edge ship like this abroad in total secrecy, without anyone finding out? As I stated earlier, there are a great deal of individuals who helped me make this happen. Such as Mr. Gwyn here, for instance. Mm-hmm. The story here goes all the way back to right after the Civil War. Considering the way it ended, His Highness decided to approach me for some advice. He had me prepare this ship for him, all in anticipation of the day when the Crimson Wings would be torn from the sky. So that's why. Huh. I do remember His Highness mentioning something about you being his advisor. This is... I underestimated them. Shara, I'm sorry. Sorry, I Looks like I messed up.
Goddess, please protect my daughter. You have 15 seconds until the hull collapses. So before then, I will offer you one final wager. A gravitational barrier will appear on the bridge for exactly 24 seconds. Let's see if you can come back from this. Adios, help us! You gotta stay calm. Get down and brace for impact. Uh, over there! Damn! The gravitational barrier. It's not gonna hold. Don't give up just yet! Was I a moment too late? Nay, surely a flicker of hope yet remains. Can you still be plucked from the jaws of Gehenna? Show me just how far that luck of yours will take you, my dearest rival. For those of you who have not yet had the honor, my name is Roselia Milstein. I am the elder of Erebonia's Hexen Clan. Emma and Vita are my disciples in the magical arts. It is a pleasure to finally meet you, Prince Olivert, as well as the storied children of Crossbell and the Burl.
indeed. Being sent forth by Adios, much like the holy beast of Earth. Thomas Lysander, second dominion of the Grosritter. Estelle, Lloyd, I've heard many a rumor about your respective endeavors. As for you, your highness, I don't think we've had the chance to talk since you were last at the main campus. The solution is simple. Use this ship to whatever end you see fit. The rivalry of the Seven appears to be the true objective behind this plan of the Chancellor and the Gnomes. That much we can safely assume. And yet, it is this very same objective that may be our sole hope in preventing the disaster to come. <laughs> you for real here? It's true that ever since this curse was unleashed, it's felt as though everything's being guided by some unseen force. With that in mind, it'd be near impossible to try and prevent the war altogether. That's probably why Dad and Chloe opted for Operation Neil Mirage instead. But while we're on it, what exactly is this curse anyway? Huh. Hmm. We know full well the sort of strife a Septarian can cause. We saw so ourselves during the incident in Liberal a few years back. There. We had to come face to face with the same issues our ancestors contended with 1200 years ago. It was the same for us. We fought back against a centuries-long plan to artificially recreate a Septarian. One that had been lost due to mankind's own hubris. Yeah, I almost made a really big mistake back then. But then Lloyd and the others came and made everything alright again. In Liberal, a ring that could grant any heart's desire. And in Crossbell, a tree that could rewrite destiny itself. Each one a blessing, yet each one a curse. But in spite of that, Estelle, Lloyd, and everyone else faced them head on. 
They didn't lose heart even once. Therefore, discovering the truth is your responsibility now. It's not something Estelle, or Lloyd, or even the rest of us can accomplish. Only you, Class 7 of Thor's Military Academy. The Empire is facing threats both on its surface and behind the scenes. And you're no strangers to kick and tail on either of those fronts. I can't think of a more tenacious bunch out there. The way I see it, you guys are the only ones who can do this. <laughs> it's up to us then. Naturally, the Courageous Two has its own missions to see to. We must travel around the country helping people and gathering allies. Even so, I have no doubt that we can still serve as your wings of passage. More so with the Merkaba out of commission. After all, the difference in size should be more than enough to fit, oh, say, two Divine Knights and four Panzer Soldats, hmm? Oliver, You've put so much thought into this. We appreciate it. Then Thor's Military Academy's Class 7 would be honored to take you up on that offer, Your Highness. We'll do everything we can to assist you in your efforts as fellow members of the Radiant Wings. We'll help too! It's only fair after all you've done for the Branch Campus students. If you ever need someone to make that ship purr, I'm your gal. Fabulous! Delighted to have you. You see, we've been rather lacking in the crew department. <laughs> Well, I sure as hell ain't sitting this one out. What kind of instructor would I be otherwise? Count me in two. I mean, we're finally all back together again. Like we said, we're gonna be off doing our own thing, but we'll still be helping out. Same with us. We'll be catching a ride on the Bobcat 2 after we're done here. Now that you mention it, you did both say you'd be working separately. Yeah. The plan is to cover Eastern Arabonia, North Ambria, and Jirai. You mentioned getting in touch with HQ and Lamont. Guess that means you guys are heading out too, huh, Shara? We are. Though we won't be leaving the ship until tomorrow. Sarah, Fee, you guys got things covered here, yeah? Of course. When have we ever let you down? Call us if you need anything, okay? I guess... this is goodbye for now then, huh? Yeah. We've got some stuff to take care of back in Crossbell. Don't worry. We'll be seeing each other again before you know it. In the meantime, Let's give this our all. Yeah! We got this, Yuna! Right! <laughs>